Hi, welcome to another episode of my weekly confidence video. In these weekly videos, I share monthly themes all around elevating women's confidence. And this month's theme is reading yourself confident. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I'm a self-proclaimed confidence crusader on a mission to help women elevate their confidence. Because I truly believe that when we show up as our most confident self, we're able to make more significant impact in our own lives and in the lives of others. So if you feel like you could do with regular updates on how to become a more confident version of you, then consider subscribing to the channel. So this month of February, I'm sharing with you a few books that I've recently read that have really left an impression with me and helped not only my own confidence, but has allowed me to continue to help other women with their confidence as a result of what I have taken away from these books. And in order to share the love and share the confidence, I'm sharing these book titles with you. If you missed last week's video, make sure to go back and watch that one because you don't want to miss out on these awesome, awesome books. This week's book review is called Ultimate Confidence by Marissa Peer. The secrets to feeling great about yourself every day. Now my little radar is tuned in to the word confidence. So whenever I see the word confidence or hear the word confidence, my ears perk up just a little bit more and I tune straight in there because I am all about confidence. Can't remember how I stumbled across Marissa's book, but I'm so glad that I did. And it really was a great read. It was easy to read. It wasn't laborious. Oftentimes, I mean, there's one book actually, if I'm really honest, just veering off track here, uh, that people recommend all the time. And whenever, actually there's two books that people keep recommending and I've tried to read them, but I keep falling asleep. I don't know what it is, but as far as I'm concerned, the book needs to be written in a way that it keeps me engaged. The one is, um, I can't even remember the title. That's how good it is. But I mean, it's a world best-selling book. Oh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, that's it. So I've heard great things about this book, but I keep falling asleep whenever I listen to it. Granted, I listen to it on audio. Maybe reading it is different. You know, people learn in different ways. But anywho, the other book is Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now. I really want to read that book. Actually, I was listening to it again. I'm seeing a theme here. I should probably stop listening to books. Anyway, it, if you have trouble sleeping, then I recommend Eckhart Tolle's The Power of One on audio. I'm sure the written version is much better and note to self, I think I'm gonna go and get that one. Anyway, back to today's book review and that is Marissa Peer's Ultimate Confidence. Now, Marissa is a therapist by training and she has a super successful business as a confidence therapist. She helps people all over the world. And this book is sharing her 10 step program on how to become more confident. She covers topics like self-esteem, self-worth. She shares very practical advice on what you can do to change your thought patterns to get rid of negative thinking. She talks about breaking of harmful habits that are getting in the way of you becoming the most confident version of you. She shares many of the techniques that she uses with her clients in her therapy consultations. And she shares them in a way that is very easy to read. It's really not laborious. She's very particular about the kind of language that she uses in her book as well, uh, because that's something that's very important to her approach to her coaching and her therapy. So she's very particular about the way, and she even does describe that, you know, th there's something almost hypnotic about the language that she uses and the way in which she has kind of formulated her sentence structure. Uh, so I, th I thought that was quite interesting. If you look at the table of contents, it literally says, step one, step two, step three, all the way down to step 10, which I suppose is very good in, you know, in a kind of structural point of view and a chronological point of view so that you go from step one all the way through to step 10. However, I think I'd quite like to have descriptions of what the steps are so that when I come back to read the book or to reference a particular technique or a particular step, I know exactly which chapter to go to. So for me, 
as I sit here right now, I can't remember what step five is. So that's, that's one little critique that I would um, share about that. I suppose it would come down to you having to make your own notes. It is a book, I believe, that requires more than one reading. I found that in terms of the exercises that she laid out in the book, as I was reading them in that moment, I, there was a couple of times where I didn't have the capacity to kind of do the exercise at that point in the book. And that did halt my reading of the book, you know, progressing further because I felt, oh, well, I need to do the exercise first before I can carry on. Um, so I don't know if there's an, another way of doing it, but I do think that it requires kind of one whole reading through of the book and then going back again and starting from the beginning so that you can go and do the actual exercises that she's explained in the book. With the Kindle version of the book, she also does give you a free download of an audio meditation, which was pretty awesome. So I went ahead and I did that and I'm really enjoying that. In fact, I listen to her audio meditation almost every single night as I'm drifting off to sleep because the way that she does um, her sessions, I imagine, her therapy sessions is kind of hypnotic and getting you into a state of very specific brain waves. She calls them alpha brain waves where you are more suggestive. So I have found that it's really lovely to put my earphones in and then drift off to sleep while she's talking in my ears. Uh, so I really, I really like that. She talks a lot about emotions versus logic and that the power of your emotions has a big impact on your confidence. She gives a lot of examples of case studies of clients that she's worked with, problems that they had and how she helped overcome them using the techniques that she describes in the book. She talks about her own journey of becoming more confident and using these techniques that she's uh, implemented. Overall there's generally a lot of focus on uh, you know your mind, your thinking, your thought processes and getting very intentional about how you're using your grey matter. So I would definitely recommend this book. Go out and get yourself a copy. As I said in last week's video I am not sharing affiliate links, I'm just sharing the love, I'm sharing the confidence and I'm sharing these books with you to help you elevate your confidence because you have to, you have to work on your confidence and what you feed your brain has a major impact on how you feel about yourself. I'd love to hear from you. Have you read Ultimate Confidence by Marissa Peer? Let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway was from that book. And otherwise, let me know what other books you've read that have really helped elevate your confidence. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And when you do that, make sure you hit the little bell that comes up so that you get notified every time there's a new video uploaded on this channel. That's it from me this week. Go out there and feed your brain with some confidence boosting information. So much of confidence is based on what you are feeding your brain. So be mindful, like your diet. If you wanna eat healthy, you gotta choose the healthy options. Same with your mind and your confidence. If you wanna have a healthy mind and healthy confidence, you gotta look at what you're feeding your brain. Until next week.